Welcome to the Mike Keller Show. Coach, thanks for being here today. Thank you for having me. All right, Coach, first thing, uh, just your initial reaction to Saturday's uh, 37-14 win over West Liberty. Uh, it, was, it was a beautiful day. Yeah. Um, got a uh, got a nice win. I think anytime you can win a game in league, um, you know, West Liberty, those guys are all my buddies up there. Anytime you get a win, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's a good thing. And uh, I thought we played pretty well for the most part. There's some things that uh, we'd like to go back and, and, and not make a couple of the mistakes that we did make. But all in all, it was a pretty good day. And then uh, the defense, he forced five turnovers, mm -hmm. uh, pick six, Devontae Roberson. West Liberty really only had one scoring drive because the first score, you know, they started at the one yard line off yeah. the interception of us. Yeah. What was working so well for the defense? Uh, they just, they, we were physical, mm -hmm. ran to the ball. Um, you know, it all starts with us just like it does on every defense in the whole world. If you're, if you're able to stop the run and make a team one dimensional and get them in third and longs and you can rush the passer and do some things in coverage. And uh, I thought we did a good job with that. You know, I was really concerned with their tailback going into the game. You know, you and I spoke about it a yeah. week ago and, and, uh, and they did get some run, got a little run game established early, but once we settled in, we were able to stop the run. Mm -hmm. Then you, then you make them one dimensional and they've kind of fought the quarterback thing all year long. Uh, their kid got, got hit and I believe I would assume he was concussed. Yeah, it was a bad. Yeah. Hit. And then, um, and then they came in and you get them in some bad situations with the backup quarterback and your secondary and pass rush are able to take over. Yep. Uh, and then offensively, scored season high in points, uh, 37, threw for 208, ran for a buck 21. What did you like out of the offense? I thought we executed at a higher level. Uh, it was the first time all year where we had any explosive plays. Mm -hmm. You know, really, um, you know, I've talked to them week in, week out about it's hard when you got to execute 12, 14 play drives. That's when bad things happen. We need to have some more run after the catch. We need to have some more spit runs. We need to have some more throws down you're seeing yeah. with the Steelers now yeah some more throws down the field and and we're able to get a few of those this week now mm -hmm. there be you know the secondary has been struggling all year long and, and anyone look at the stats knew that that was probably the best way to attack them but but I was really concerned with their pass rush mm -hmm. you know and, and I thought once we established some run game and got their pass rushers a little tired and and we were able to protect it then we were able to throw the ball down the field and then a wide receiver uh, Tariq Miller's obviously been the go-to guy yeah but lately you've gotten production from I mean uh Nassim Pacheco Palmer Lewis uh Amari Colin Bryant had a really good game. Yeah. How has that variety kind of helped, you know, the offense as the season's progressed? Well, it's huge. You know, every offense in the world is looking for balance, yep. you know, and they're looking for run-pass balance. Uh, and they're looking for guys, you know, you got five eligible, you got five linemen and a quarterback, mm -hmm. and the other five guys could all touch the ball. Yep. Uh, it's like a basketball team in that way. Now, is is your best player, Michael Jordan, Steph Curry, are them guys going to touch the ball more than the other guys? Of course. But if everyone on the offense can touch it, then it makes it harder for you to stop. And then looking at Wheelie now, they've, they've, they had lost three games in a row now they've won two in a row especially a big one over Frostburg State yeah. thoughts on them I think they're playing really well I mean they've always been a very good defense football team I think they're well coordinated they get in out of two different fronts pretty smoothly they get it out of you know multiple coverage just pretty smoothly so anytime you can see that you know you got something to go against uh, offensively I mean I watched the Frostburg game uh, on the Thursday night on the Mountain East and obviously I watched the the, uh, the coaches copy on Sunday mornings and I mean they they got a couple receivers that are really really good football players players and they're they they got a good scheme uh they know how to use the run game i mean they they've been they've been a hard team i mean every year we, the years we've won the years we've lost it's always came down oh, to yeah. the last possession yep. so it, i look for it to be another game a uh, good game this weekend and then recently they played two different quarterbacks it looks like uh, landon Luntz, i believe is gonna get the the nod yeah but just combined they've they've thrown for 17 touchdowns only three picks so they haven't really turned the ball over that much uh yeah. what do you feel has kind of led to that they, they got a good scheme and they got very good skill mm -hmm. i mean they're they're they got a, like i said their receiver are really good players. Their head coach is an offensive guy, yeah. and I think he's got a, a good grasp of what he wants to do. And you can see that uh, that he's you know communicated that to his team. And then uh, on defense, they're giving up around 30 points a game. Mm -hmm. They've got some guys: Jack Perry, second in the league in tackles; Justin uh, McWain is second in interceptions. When you look at the defense, what do you see? Same, uh, it, well coached. You know, multiple with what they do. They've always given us fits because they're so in and out of what they do. Mm -hmm. You know, they're on an odd front one snap, next down, next snap with the same people on the field. They're on a four down front uh, now that's become more the norm in this league it's kind of what we do defensively yep. as well so we're more used to seeing it than we used to be but when I first got here that was that was very abnormal and then you know they're, they're really good they're a man coverage team but they'll play enough cover two or two high coverages that you can't just you know go to certain schemes you got you got to be on your PC 
DQs with them. And then setting the scene for Saturday, you're coming in currently tied for second in the league. It's just the fifth, uh, the fifth all-time meeting, two and two uh, in that. What are some keys to the victory for Saturday? We're the same as always. we got to stop the run, force them to throw the ball, and then we got to cover their skill guys, which are excellent. we got to be good in the kick game. I mean, they're excellent in the kick game. The, the Fairmont versus Wheeling game on tape was fun to watch just it's because they took, turns, yeah. they took turns running the kicks back, and, and it was a total shootout. And so you got to start, you got to slow down their skill. You can't let you can't let the receivers get away from you in this game. That's for sure. And then offensively, we got we got to take care of the football as always. We got it. We got it. You know, when the numbers are in our favor, we got to be able to throw the ball down the field. And when the numbers are in our favor, we got to be able to run the ball. Well, Coach, uh, thanks for joining us today. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching the Mike Keller Show.